Ah, good to see you, my dear. Zaji found you. Find the Alliance leaders at Gonfalon Palace and convince them to wait just a little longer. After that, look for Lord Bukaro at the city's western docks. He's been there for days, overseeing the Society of the Steadfast Relief Efforts for Galen. I had to put them somewhere, dear, and Mandrake Manor isn't large enough to keep them comfortable and adequately separated. There's more than enough room in the palace to make sure they don't engage in any unchaperoned squabbling. That would never work. It took untold hours of planning and preparation to get them here in the first place, and then we nearly lost them on multiple occasions. No, this is our one chance for peace. We won't get another if they leave. Off we go! They've separated us, have us under constant guard. I feel like a prisoner. And all because Lord Bicaro wants to maintain the sanctity of his peace talks. But I want to hear your news. Where have you been, my friend? Druids and seers. <laughs> Impressive as always. And have you learned anything more about the Ascendant Order and its mysterious Lord? Yes, yes. For a Breton noble, Lady Arabelle seems quite competent. I know my father trusts her, despite her ties to Emmerich and the Covenant. We'll get to it. I can't wait to get out of this room so we can finally start talking. Do you bring news, my friend? Is Lord Bakaro ready to summon us so we can finally engage in the discussions of peace? Well, that's something, at least. I swear, though, if something doesn't change soon, I'm going to call for Captain Zaji and return to my own domain. I've been absent long enough as it is. Locked away for my safety is not what I had imagined when I agreed to attend this conference. I'll abide a little longer. But my royal patience is growing quite thin. Go. I used to enjoy my visits to the archipelago. It was a welcome change from the hustle and bustle of my court. But because of the Ascendant Order, I'm practically a prisoner in here. But tell me, what have you been up to? More druidic traitors? I really must have a talk with their elders. And they were working with sea elves. That's not an alliance I would have predicted. But what about the Ascendant Order? Any sign of them or their lord? Aha, Arabelle. She's never failed me yet. Give her whatever help she requires. I haven't spoken to Irene or Ernskar since the celebration. I think I actually miss them. 
No. Lord Bakaro wants the peace talks to occur under controlled conditions. He's worried that if left to our own devices, we'd start another war. And I can't say he's wrong. We're all a bit hot-headed and stubborn, if you hadn't noticed. Let's get these supplies on board. The people of Gala need our assistance. I'll take care of things here on High Ha ha! The defender of the three thrones and the savior of the sisters. I'm afraid you've caught me at a bad time. The Society of the Steadfast is needed in Vastir, and my ship is ready to depart. I decided to oversee the relief efforts personally. <laughs> Lady Arabelle uses every weapon in her arsenal. I suppose that's why I hired her. But the timing isn't right, my friend. There's too much at stake to risk another setback. Once the most recent threats have been eliminated... I was about to send word to Lady Arabel. My scouts reported new Ascendant Order activity at the Dufort shipyards. I sent a messenger there to confirm these reports, but they have yet to return. I... After you discovered that her brother was the Ascendant Magus and killed him... Duchess Alea claimed no involvement. She was stoic in her grief and assured me her brother acted without her permission or foreknowledge. Hmm. Since you're here, if you're still working with Arabelle, then you can look into the validity of this threat. Discover what became of my messenger at the Defort shipyards. That would ease my mind. Why I use a bank.
You know, I like to think I'm agreeable. We're short, no doubt about it. How did that happen? Did you hear? Lord Bacaro's conference. It's peace talks to try to end the Three Banners War. Terrible news! Lady Arabelle has succumbed to some unknown malady. She's upstairs in bed waiting for you. Welcome back, dear. And wipe that expression off your face. I'm not dead yet. Lady Arabelle, you need to rest. I want to hear all about your conversations with the Alliance leaders and Lord Bakara, dear. But I think we need to deal with this situation I find myself in first, if that's all right with you. Poison, I should think. It has all the usual signs. 
Right after you left, I received a package, my favorite wine, and a note of congratulations for saving the Alliance leaders. I should have known better than to pour a glass, but here we are. The note was suspiciously vague about that. If I hadn't been tired of thinking about twelve dozen other things, that should have set off a warning bell. Instead, no matter. Tell me, is Lord Bukara ready to start the peace talks? How can that be? Duchess Alea assured me she had retaken control of her shipyards. We'll deal with that later. Right now, I need you to figure out where that package came from. Determine who wants me out of the way. Nothing. Everything is still exactly where I left it. Examine the note and bottle carefully. See if you can trace them back to their origin. And talk to Ravana. She's been working to identify the poison and figure out an antidote. My life is in your hands. More often than you might expect, actually, comes with the territory. I am rather famous, dear. Still, I should have been more careful. I can't afford to make a mistake like that again. People who send expensive gifts usually want to take credit. Just guesses. I suspected the Ascendant Lord, but your news about the Dufort shipyards concerns me. Did we misjudge Duchess Elaine? Aside from the anonymous signature, it's the same as other notes I've received. Any distinctive markings on the bottle, dear? Lady Arabelle is fortunate that Zaji sent for me, and not one of the Society of the Steadfast's menders. They wouldn't have been able to counteract the poison. This poison smells slightly of garlic, and has all the earmarks of a druidic compound. But its effects remind me of much older recipes. No? No. But I have given Lady Arabelle a tincture that will keep her stable and slow down the poison's most deadly effects. I need to return to my workshop, analyze the components, and consult my ancient herbal apothecary. I'm sure. Just what Lady Arabelle asked. Discover where the poisoned wine came from and who sent it. I'll leave more of my tincture with Zaji and give him exact instructions. Then I need to go... Oh, I really hate being so... impotent. Ravana tells me her tincture defers the worst effects of the poison, but... I still feel weak. Like my blood is on fire. <sighs> Enough of my problems. Tell me what you saw when you examined the note and the bottle. Let me guess. The 571 vintage. I'd be hard-pressed to refuse such an exquisite wine. Ashcroft's fine goods and imports. Only place on the island that might have any bottles available, other than the Duchess's private stores. Go talk to them, dear. Ask for Fillion Ashcroft, the proprietor. He knows me well and keeps a spot in Bayside Artisans here in town. And while Ravana works on an...
Let's ride! Welcome to Ashcroft's fine... Hmm, let me see. Yeah. What? I had no idea! Lady Arabelle is one of my best customers. I swear on my reputation, that wine left this shop unaltered. In fact, I only made one sale that included this particular vintage recently. It was a rather large order, in fact. Oh, this is awkward. Castle Navir Seneschal placed the order, claimed he needed to replenish the cellars for Duchess Alea, and demanded I sell back the wine. Let's ride! Yeah! Hero of the sisters, you're always... Lady Arabelle's assistant? How good to see you again. But I don't remember your name on my schedule today. Did we have an appointment? Lady Arabelle? Poisoned? Is she alright? But what was that about wine? I haven't placed any orders recently. Not while the castle is still in disrepair. And I haven't appointed a new Seneschal since that trouble with Steward Hersian. Again? I thought my knights ran them off after that terrible business with my brother. 
Thank you for bringing me the news. I'll send a battalion to deal with them right away. I know how this must look, but I am not in league with those malcontents. Did he? Well, I want the Ascendant Lord brought to justice, the same as you. That wine that poisoned Lady Arabelle, was it a Dufort Singular Amber? Vintage 571? I received a similar gift this morning. It's in the Knight Commander's private chamber. The Knight Commander insisted that the anonymous gift be tested before I consumed so much as a drop. It's in her private chamber, waiting for one of my handmaidens to come by and taste it. Feel free to perform your own- There's not much to say. It arrived without fanfare, with an anonymous note. The vintage was my father's favorite. He was still new to his role as Duke when the vineyard turned out those precious bottles. We depleted our own stores of that vintage a long time ago. But everyone at court knows I was fond of that wine. We opened a bottle once a year to celebrate my father and the elevation of House Dufort. I was quite sad when we uncorked the last one. I like reading too, you know. If you ever need an excuse to get me something. What do you think? Did someone send me the same gift that poisoned poor Lady Arabelle? As we discussed, and you no doubt noticed, the letter was unsigned. My knight commander insisted on having someone else taste the wine before she would allow any to pass my lip. Hold on. Earlier you mentioned that the shopkeep claimed that my seneschal placed an order for a large amount of wine. While we did no such thing, one of my sentries informed me that a courier had arrived with an unscheduled delivery. Then your answer may be right outside. I told the sentry to have them wait by the jousting tents until I was ready to deal with the mix-up. Talk to the courier, and find out who hired them to deliver- Someone has gone to a lot of trouble to try and remove both myself and Lady Arabelle from the table, while also focusing the blame for this all on me. Speak to the courier, and get some answers. Or to sow confusion and weaken House Dufort, of course. And to further delay the peace talks. Perhaps even scuttle them completely. I have political rivals, but none who would stoop to murder. If I had to guess, this is the work of the Ascendant Order. I fear we'll find the Ascendant Lord's hand on the tiller of most of the recent events that have plagued the archipelago. Call it a feeling deep in my bones. In the meantime... Tired of walking anyway. Are you from the castle? Can I finally make my delivery and be done with this damn job? Ashcrofts? Mm, no. Some hooded figures hired me to take some crates to an isolated spot up north. That's where I met another hooded figure. He hoped. Mm, no names, just enough gold to make me not want to ask any questions. You did hear me say we were in an isolated location, right? But if it helps, right below the cliffs of Garrick's Rest. Look, I know how all this... Five Claw! Zaji has found you! Lady Arabelle wasn't improving, so Zaji went to find Druid Ravana. Do not worry, Five Claw. Casca stands guard at Mandrake Manor. Instead of giving this one more medicine, Ravana sent me to find you. Druid Rivana wants you to come to her workshop right away. Do you know where it is? Just west of Gonfalin Bay and north of Druid's Gate. 
When you see her, remind her. Oh, that makes Zachi feel much. Ah, there you are. I thought that I'd be able to replicate an antidote using some of the old recipes in my ancient herbal apothecary. But nothing I've concocted thus far has worked. This That's just it. I identified the various plants, root, stem, and leaf. Neither did I, at least not at first. But after careful study, I can see that someone with extensive agricultural knowledge created new and more potent versions of the rare plant. Garrick's Rest. Strange magic saturates the wildlife around those ruins. <sighs> if that's the source of the poison, I'll need samples to craft an antidote. We'll need to proceed. Hmm. <sighs> the tincture I... Wait, this isn't right.
Friend, look. It appears something heavy was dragged up and down this hill recently. A door. That's definitely where whatever made the marks came from. Be careful. I don't think we're alone down here. Order has been hiding here for a while. Lord Makara was right to be concerned. is recruiting disillusioned druids after the events on Galen. Insidious. Those must be the crates the courier delivered. Check the labels. Those were intended for Steadfast Manor. Why deliver them here? Society of the Steadfast Armor. With that, the Ascendant Order could impersonate Steadfast Knights. On that table. The dream of Cassarade will come to pass. We seek to bring back the old ways. A new druid king must be crowned. But a new druid king. 
king will rise at. The Ascendant Lord gave clear orders to this druid alchemist. We need to find that go- Hmm, is that a key over there? I didn't expect the Ascendant Order to wither away, but I had no idea its roots ran so deep. And it seems they have crept into our most trusted circles. Someone at Steadfast... We know that the Ascendant Lord allied with factions of the Elder Tide and Firesong circles, but to actively promote a sacred druidic prophecy to gain followers to his cause. Armor that the Ascendant Order can use to impersonate Steadfast Knights. I know Captain Marguerite by reputation. We must talk to her about the shipments. But first, and I assume the key we found will grant us access to this alchemical garden. Then I can craft an antidote for Lady Arabelle. She and Lord Bakara will know how to best handle this situation once she recovers from the poison. That door. See if the key we found will unlock it. A druid alchemist's workshop. Let's look around. Intruders? Here's how we deal with pests in my garden! what I was looking for, a sister's cave bloom. With these, I should be able to craft an antidote. What did you find over there? I gathered enough of the plant to craft an antidote for Lady Arabelle. She will soon be on her way to a full recovery. Did you find- That's a shard of the green. I've never seen an intact one before. Long ago, druids used them to protect sacred locations. The practice withered like leaves on a dying vine, mostly because now... Now we do exactly what Lady Arabelle would want us to. We follow the clues. Head to Steadfast.
That will be all, Sentry. But what's this? A druid and Lady Arabelle's assistant. Forgive the intrusion, Captain. My friend will explain. What brings a druid and Lady Arabelle's most trusted assistant to Steadfast Manor? I'm afraid Lord Bacaro is still on Galen leading the relief efforts there. Is there something I can help you with? Interesting. I was informed that those crates were lost at sea, but I suspected there was more going on than a simple accident. Add to that the minor thefts and intruders my knights keep running off, it seems the Ascendant Order has targeted us. You say you found this with the Ascendant Order? That's one of Lord Bacaro's most prized possessions. He usually keeps it down in the cellars with his collection of trinkets from his adventuring days. Those thieves were bolder than I thought. Claiming? The Society provides aid to those in need. But it's evident that the Ascendant Order stole from us. You're Lady Arabelle's investigator. Would you check the cellars and help me determine how those thieves got past our security? The Society of the Steadfast's primary charter involved... Not officially, no. But Lord Beccaro tells... Hmm. That empty sconce. See the druid symbols carved into it? Check if the shard fits into the socket. Just as I suspected, a hidden door. Let's see what other secrets this manor is hiding. leading deeper beneath the manor. Let's see what Lord Bacaro is hiding down here. Maybe I should have joined the buoyant homages. Did Lord Bacaro know it was down somewhere beneath Stead? Spirits often guard locations such as this. Be careful.
right? Why for mummy? Down there. Let's get a closer look. Those carvings. Definitely druidic. It looks just like the Ascendant Lord, doesn't it? What's the connection here? Why does the Ascendant... What? But... Let me see that. Do you see? That's a stylized rendition of the Ivy... So, Lord Bakaro, in and of themselves... The Dream of Kassarain. The, dr the prophecy, Captain Mark. Lady Arabelle, drink this. It will neutralize the poison. We discovered the source of the poison and... something more. Our friend will tell you. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Tell me what you uncovered, dear. Oh, couldn't you have added a touch of cinnamon or honey to that? <sighs> The poison must have affected my hearing. Looking at things from... Ah, we've been hesitant for too long. I can't in good conscience start... Then we must assume that Count Stefan and... Druid Ravana and I will get Zaji to sail us to Galen. While we collect... 